Hey developer and welcome to another Our Code World video. If you have a website or blog with a good amount of monthly traffic visited by people around the world, you definitely need to configure a Content Delivery Network or CDN, as this plays a huge part in the optimization of the loading times of a web page. CDNs are a system of servers distributed throughout the world delivering web pages and other static web content based on the user's geographical location. For example, if your website is based in San Francisco, the people who access it from California will receive the content faster than people accessing it from Hong Kong. The farther away the person accessing the website or application is, the longer the load time and the more frustrating the user experience becomes. Implementing a CDN in your blog is quite easy. You don't need to mess up with the files that you are currently serving as CDNs use caching algorithms and canonical headers to help enhance the SAO of your website by combating duplicate content creation issues. In this video, we will explain you how to easily implement the CDN service from Stackpad on your website. In order to follow this tutorial, you will need to create a Stackpad account if you don't have any. Once you have the account, pay for the CDN service of your needs. In our case, we will hire the $10 service that includes up to 1TB of monthly traffic, unlimited websites, access to all of the points of presence, and protection for DDoS. You will need as well access to the DNS settings of your website domain. In our case, we have a domain on GoDaddy, so we can easily modify these settings on their platform. Having said that, let's get started. As you can see, currently our website Free Guitar Pro Tabs is being served on our own server using a Let's Encrypt certificate. Now to implement the CDN, go to the Stackpad control and click on Sites on the left side panel. Click on Create Site and provide the domain of your website, selecting the CDN service. In the next step, you need to provide the IP of the server that hosts currently your website. This value should appear automatically on the input, then click on continue. Now that the website is registered, you need to update the DNS to point to the Stackpad network. Log in to your domain provider, in our case GoDaddy. Search for the website domain and click on DNS settings. Here we will update the records as shown in the tutorial. The values will change according to the root of your stack. Do not use the values of this tutorial as they won't work. We use a low TTL so the new registers will be refreshed constantly. According to the previous TTL, it should take a while until you can recheck the DNS settings, sometimes up to 24 hours. After checking the DNS settings on Stackpad, if everything went well, you may proceed with the creation of the SSL certificate to provide support for HTTPS. Now click on the Edge SSL button in the left sidebar and search for the Custom Delivery Certificate panel. Here, click on Create Certificate, select both versions of your domain, click on Continue and select the HTTP Request Validation method. Click on Create Certificate and finally create a new CNAME record on your DNS setting with your stack address. After creating the record, click on Continue and that's it. The CDN has been configured for your website using the Stackpad services.
Finally, if you try to access your website in the browser again and verify the SSL certificate once again, you should now see that the certificate is from Sectigo. You will notice well that the server IP of your website is different. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our coldworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time.